up everyone? This is Vaughn Levi from Building Beast and today I'm going to be showing you how to DJ with cloud-based software on the internet. Those who are trying to get into the DJ world and aren't really sure how you want to enter, if you want to buy a controller, if you want to get turntables, here is your chance to actually try something out completely free before you go out and invest. So I'm going to be showing you two apps called UDJ and Transitions DJ that are both cloud-based on a website that you can use on Windows, Mac, and Chromebooks. So this is going to be really dope. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I'm here on the first website. This is UDJ. That's Y-O-U dot DJ. Very simple. It is a cloud-based website you can go on here and you can start djing very 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 quickly so i'm gonna get into it and you can follow along all right so as you can see here we have a few things going on we have a cross fader we have our up faders for our right deck and our left deck we have our eqs we have a mid eq you have a bass eq and we have our filters you have a play button we have our loop, and we can loop up to 32 bars, which is very useful. Those who want to get and learn into loops, that will be in another video. But for now, we're going to do four. We have effects. We have your slicer, your looper, crush, flanger, echo, and you can also add a kick. There's some other ones here. If you want to unlock those effects, you can buy the pro account. But if you just want to get started right away, you can start DJing right away from the free account. We have a play button on each. And what's cool about UDJ is, UDJ is very, very similar to what a vinyl turntable would be like. So what they did was they simulated the whole vinyl experience where you can actually move the needle. I'm gonna show you how to move the needle. You can just move the needle up if I play a song, I can move the needle as I want to just by clicking on these little wedges here in the track. All right, so let's get into a basic mix. Before I get into the basic mix, one thing I did not go over is the hot songs. This is the song library. So if you click on this star here, this is where all your songs are going to be. This is a playlist that was curated by UDJ. If you would like to add your own songs, what you can do is you can go to your MP3s right here where it says your MP3s, click, and you can import your own tracks just by hitting the import. You can find the track and you can start playing your songs directly from the website now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start doing a basic mix so very easy I'm gonna pick the first two songs I'm gonna just hit the left playhead and it's gonna load as you can see and those 24. And what's cool about this program is when I mix the next song in, it's going to sync automatically to the tempo, which is very, very, very cool. Base account on 
professional DJ softwares like Serato, Rekordbox, and Tractor. I really like this program. Let's get into it. All right, so as I said before, early in the video, this is also a cloud-based DJ website, and you can also download the app directly to your computer, and it works for Windows, Mac, and Chromebook. I'm working on a Mac today, but I'm going to be going straight to the website, going to load and here we are so this is the whole interface of transitions DJs like I said before it mirrors something you would see on a professional setup if you decide to go that route now what's really cool about transitions DJ is they have everything laid out for you like a DJ so if you go down here to the sound libraries top SoundCloud tracks, and this is the top 100 songs or top 358 songs that are on soundtrack. And these tracks will change over time, so whenever you see this video, the songs that you see here may be different. Just a little bit of reminder, you dig? So we have different decks here, or crates, or sound libraries that you can choose from. We have dance, deep house, drum and bass, dubstep, electric, hip hop, house, Latin, pop, army, soul, techno, and trance. And if you want to add your own music, you can do it by adding an account and you can add music that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things that you have available on Transitions DJ that is not available on you DJ. So obviously we have the same thing. We have the up faders here, left, right. We have a crossfader and we also have our EQs. We don't have any filters here though. So we have a low filter. Well, we have a low EQ, we have a mid EQ and a high EQ. We have loops and then we have these things called cues. Cues are basically markers that you put on a song to indicate where you wanted to start. So I like to put cues on the intros, the verses and the choruses, just so I know where I'm at with the song. And if the second verse is really popular, I will put cues on the second verse just in case. So I'm gonna show you how to create a cue right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add cues to my first song. And as I said before, Cues are just markers that indicate certain parts of the song, which you can reference later on in your mixes. This is very important for DJs to have just to keep you in time and you know where you are with your tracks, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over my DJ deck, and this is more like a jog wheel. If I move it left, it rewinds it. If I move it to the right, it moves it forward. So what I wanna do is I want to put a cue right on the beginning of the track and I have it lined up. I'm just gonna hit Q1 and now I have my cue. And it's always gonna start there. So I'm gonna hit the play button. If I hit one again, again it starts from where I had it start. So I'm gonna move all the way to Let's see where the verse is. So I'm gonna see where the verse is. I'm gonna hit play. All right, so I think we found the verse. Let's put a verse right there. Have my cue, cue two, 
and it'll always be there. So I'm gonna play. And that is gonna be my timekeeper, all right? So I'm gonna go into the next track and I'm going to pick this high tech song. I'm gonna just drag it into the deck. And I'm gonna bring it to this red line here to add my first marker. So it'll be Q6. I'm gonna hit play. Six, six again. again. It starts, starts right, right away. away. All right. And that is how you add cues. So let's get into a simple mix and we'll go over some of the mechanics of how to do that in this program. All right. As you can see, I have my two songs loaded up. I have the cues ready and I'm going to show you how to do a simple mix just using the EQs and transitions. Let's do it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna head and hit play on my first track. I'm gonna cue up my second one. Six. What I want to do is I want to start taking out the low end and that is the kick drum. I'm going to just move this to the left. Oh, I can see the doubt in those eyes. Even though you try to hide it, it's not much to break out. Because I know why. And I won't try to fight it, try to fight it. And I'll be the first to tell you. Now I know my heart is a ghost town. And that is how you make a basic mix in transition. All right, everyone, you just seen me go over how to create a basic mix in two simple and free DJ softwares that you can pick up and start using today. That was UDJ and Transitions DJ. So if you like any of those, make sure you go check those out and start mixing. We will have more 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 and more and more and more videos on djing coming soon so if you like this video make sure you like subscribe and follow us on social media at building beats again my name is vaughn levi thank you for watching i'm out of here